Twilio SendGrid makes it super simple for you to send your first email in just five minutes or less. In this video, we'll show you how it works with Java, but if you use any of the programming languages appearing on screen right now, there's a helper library just for you. Let's see how it works. Your app makes a post request to slash mail slash send in SendGrid, and SendGrid sends an email to your customer's email inbox. We'll start by creating an API key. Head into SendGrid and go under Settings to API Keys. Hit the Create API Key button and give it a name. Go to Restricted Access and scroll down to where it says Mail Send and expand that and click on where it says Mail Send. Scroll down and hit the Create and View button. Copy the key that appears here and store it in an environment variable. Inside of IntelliJ, I'm going to create a new project. You don't have to use IntelliJ, but what you do need to use to follow these steps is create a project that is Gradle capable. I'm gonna turn on Use Auto Import for the Gradle build, and I'll name my project Send Email Java. Inside of my build.gradle file, I'll add a compile line here that adds the SendGrid helper library for Java. Next, I'll create a new Java class and call it send email. Then up at the top, I'll import the SendGrid helper library and java.io.exception, and then we'll create a main method that takes some arguments and throws an IO exception. The first thing we'll do in here is create a from email address, and that's gonna be me at brentschooley.com. Then we'll create the to email address, and that's brent from twilio at gmail.com. Next, we'll create a subject line for the email, which is sending with Twilio SendGrid is fun. And then we'll specify the content for the email. The first parameter here is the type of content. This is gonna be text plain. And then the value is and easy to do anywhere, even with Java. So sending with Twilio SendGrid is fun and easy to do. Next, we'll create a mail object and we'll pass in the from subject to and content from above. Next, we'll create a SendGrid object and pass in our SendGrid API key from the environment variable that we created earlier. Next, we'll create a request to make a request to the SendGrid API. Down inside of a try block, we'll set up the request by specifying a post method, the endpoint of mail slash send, and then pass in the mail that we've been created. Use the SendGrid object to make the API request, and we'll just log out the status code, body, and headers from the email if it's successful. If it wasn't successful, then we'll catch the IO exception and throw it. Let's give our main method a run, and in the output you'll see the 202 success and the headers, and over in my email inbox we'll see the mail was sent correctly from the proper from and to the proper to address. Just in case you forgot anything we did here, head into your SendGrid account, go to Setup Guide, click Start, then click Choose under Web API, and then you'll select Java from the resulting list, and everything here shows you what we did in this video.